onto the off-season grind. Welcome into sports, everyone. Boys basketball teams from across the Imperial Valley getting together at Imperial High for summer league action tonight. Getting some summer run in. Imperial and Brawley taking each other on in this game. Now, this was actually the sixth game of seven on the day taking place. Seven teams in total from the Imperial Valley uh, participated in the league, which actually started up last week. Varsity games start at 3.30 every Thursday as the games last for just 20 minutes each. You can even catch the action yourself. We'll be... Going on again next week, prices to get in start as low as $3 for adults and seniors, while adults are 5 The league will continue for another three weeks. And to more summer league action, this time from the girls' side of things, that's Chloe Roberts, the new Yuma Catholic girls' head coach, and Scott Nielsen, another first year at the helm for Cibola with last season's region player of the year, Isabella Molina. We begin with this play. YC closing in on the end of the first half, but Zemina Poo getting the rocks on the board here off the inbound pass. Final seconds of the half here. The Raiders would pad their lead after the kiss off the glass at the buzzer. Good run for both of these young squads. Let's get to the game right before this between Chantel Montiel and the Kofa Kings and Carlos Embrice and San Luis. San Luis up early, but here's Montiel in transition with the nice dish up ahead to Irene Martinez, who lays it up and in for the pair. A couple trips later on the inbound pass, Hulissa Montoya using the eyes to find Mia Ivara, and she uses the length over two Lady Kings to touch it off the glass for two. Kofa trying to answer a missed shot from the corner, but look at Alexis Arvoso gathering the offensive board and banking it in, falling away as well. San Luis would go on to win this one by double digits, but coaches Tim Morrison and Carlos Ambriz are just excited to get out on the floor and help each other improve. Just seeing um, you know the region grow together, we're, we're playing together. All the coaches communicate and, and getting this together. We just help each other and trying to to improve, and and it really helps you know playing each of the teams in the region. I was impressed with San Luis right now. They have some good young players that are up and coming, and then obviously teams that have been good recently in the past. They're still looking good, so uh, we have to work hard to try to be competitive with the teams in the city, and that's going to ultimately help us out when we're trying to do off-season stuff. Yuma Catholic will pick back up next week and will continue to follow along. And here's some baseball action now. The YBL Senior All-Star team hitting up the Ray Kroc Sports Complex earlier this afternoon for their third practice in as many days, all under the leadership of Yuma Criminals head baseball coach Nick Johnson. Johnson getting the pleasure of sporting a roster of some of the best young talent across Yuma as they prepare for the first round of the Section 7 District Tournament in San Diego going on from June 28th through July 4th. A win in that double elimination bracket would send them all the way to Oakland, California the following week for the state tournament. It's a team of 16 players mixed from all area schools and they even got some older guys like Andrew Yee and Aiden Schmigdal to throw some live action off the mound today. Both Coach Johnson and Gila Ridge's Isaiah Villalobos excited to get out there and showcase what Yuma has to offer. When you get them all together, it's something that's really special. You're right, there, there isn't any holes. You get the best 16-year-olds in the city uh, rocking together out here. And you don't look at, you know, you know Yuma High on their jersey or Kofa or Cibola or Gila Ridge or San Luis or, or Yuma Catholic. You don't look at any of that. You get to see them as individuals and coming together. There's a lot of depth, as, you know, and, that, and that's easy to, to just kind of take a step back a little bit, correct a few things. And uh, we're not trying to reinvent the will, but we are trying to strengthen their foundations throughout, the, throughout baseball. Uh, my favorite part about it is we get a chance to to show what Yuma could really do. You know, we have all these good ball players and nobody really sees them. So right now we get a chance. We can show it. Again, they head out to San Diego next week with first pitch coming at six on Wednesday. We're wishing them the best of luck representing District 22, and hopefully they can go to Oakland. I think I might tag along with them. <laughs> That's all the time we have for sports.